A trailblazing native who broke a number of color barriers in the United States Navy was honored at the Virginia War Memorial today. Our Cameron Thompson was there and has more on the life and legacy of Admiral Samuel Gravely. I feel completely honored. Tracy Gravely reflects on her father's legacy on land and sea. It's humbling. Her father, the late U.S. Navy Admiral Samuel Gravely Jr. It makes me very proud to have a father that's had so many accomplishments. As Wednesday, dozens stood beneath his quote at the Virginia War Memorial 50 years to the day he was promoted to admiral, becoming the first African American to achieve that rank. Trailblazing. Just one of many color barriers that the Richmond native broke during his 38 year career, starting as an enlisted seaman in 1942 during the Second World War. Overcoming prejudice, Jim Crow laws, and segregated Navy by sheer talent and determination. From enlisted sailor, to a distinguished officer, to a commanding officer, to admiral, to a fleet commander. Gravely passed away in 2004, and in 2010, the Navy commissioned a destroyer in his honor. Its current and first African-American commander, Corey Odom, noted their career parallels. I feel I am a real-time example of what milestones and barriers Admiral Gravely was able to break down. And on this day, Gravely was given another honor with a proclamation from Virginia's governor. I, Ralph S. Northam, do hereby recognize Jane, June 2nd, 2021 as Admiral Samuel L. Gravely Jr. Day. He was a great military person. He had lots of firsts, but he was also a great father. A great uncle, mm -hmm. yes. a great neighbor. And while noting the Admiral's success in the Navy, they praised Samuel the family man, who tried to keep things as normal as possible and imparted life lessons they carry with them to this day. One thing that stuck out with me, he understood that education is lifelong. And Gravely says what others can learn from her father is to not be afraid to go after what you want. Be who you want to be, take pride in what you do, and be great at it. And friends and family hope that this isn't the last commemoration for Admiral Gravely. They say they are working to erect a statue in his honor somewhere here in the city of Richmond and hope to have that unveiled by this time next year.